This is one of my favorite snacks. It's not nothing nutritious, I think, but I love corn nuts. I mean, there's nothing special about it. I just love the crunchiness. I love the saltiness to it. And Kelly's mom brought these for me. Thank you, mommy. I can't seem to find them here in Singapore. So, <laughs> I'm gonna try to make this stash last for a full year. I doubt it. Well, two weekends ago, I went to Sungay Below, which is a wetland here in Singapore. Uh, I went there with my friend UV. And then again, last Saturday, I went to the same place with Kelly's parents. I've got two sets of footage from the same location. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just mash them together and make one super vlog and call it Sungay Below. Yeah, Sungay Below. Saturday morning, we are heading out now to the train station to go meet some special people. It's always good when you live far away and then you get some special... Visitors? Yeah, some special visitors. And then all of your Adventure Saturday training comes full circle. Full circle, right? To provide adventures there on Saturdays for guests. Even though you might have done the same adventure <laughs> <laughs> But you last must come week. with all of the enthusiasm and all of the ooh, oh. ah. UV. Sixteen stops. The Sangay Below Wetland Reserve is a nature reserve in the northwest area of Singapore. It is the first wetlands reserve to be gazetted in Singapore and its global importance as a stopover point for migratory birds was recognized by the inclusion of the reserve into East Asian, Australasian shorebird, blah, blah, blah. They've got the migratory path of the birds on a globe and it's etched into the floor, etched into the ground just at the entrance where you can see the birds coming down from uh, the North Pole. Alaska, Korea, Malaysia, Australia. This shows you all the birds. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a pattern. Working their way all the way down to Australia and even here in Singapore. I was looking up like uh, some of the birds that we could see here. Yeah, apparently like... these Russian birds are here. Between September to March, uh, because uh, they, they basically come from Siberia so to period. Singapore and then make a circle, go back. You know what they look like? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. If it's not a crow or a sparrow, it's foreign. <laughs> Could this be lens you use from the old camera? Yeah, yeah. I never sold the lenses. I just sold the, the camera body and the kit lens. Sweet. And I had this one, so, okay. That is so cool. So you've just got a new camera. I can't just eat one at a time. I need to put like a bunch of them into my mouth. The, th the thing about filming wildlife is that you have to be patient and rush nature. You gotta let nature do what it wants to do when it wants to do it. So in, in the case of UV and I, in, within the first hour, we, we didn't become frustrated, but we were a little, I just down spirited because we weren't seeing any birds. There was just like squirrels, like tons of squirrels. No birds, no nothing, just lots of spiders and squirrels and frogs. Other than that, it's really peaceful, beautiful, green. No birds, no crows, no crows. Yeah. So check these. It's like some cool, uh, they call them the kingfisher pods or pods or whatever. I think you're supposed to hide out in them and wait for birds, but... Oh look, eagle. Oh, ho, ho. But he is going the other way. Oh man! Butterflies. We wanted to see all the birds right now. We are seeing nothing, but I guess too it was kind of because we were just walking as opposed to staying still in one area for a couple moments, you know? Yeah. We have any breakfast of champions. It's coffee buns, they sell at the bakery close to my house. Just like extra carb loading, we got <laughs> buns, <laughs> muffins, two packs of cookies. I think everybody, like if 10 people go, nine out of them 10 people are looking for specifically one creature, a reptile to be exact. And that is the saltwater crocodile. So you go up these steps and it's a platform that gives you like a nice look out over the canopies and we were standing looking down into the 
the water in hopes of seeing a crocodile and we did see a young crocodile right so this was a pretty small one maybe two meters the funniest comment was made by a kid that was standing next to us this kid said the crocodile looks like a poop floating on the water listen i tell you everybody just like broke down laughing I, I wish i had the camera rolling until we got into the other side which is like the marshland wetland kind of area that's when things got interesting and it's like it was like a whole new breath of fresh air was breathed into our adventure and I tell you like from there it was amazing like maybe 10 feet 10 feet away from where we standing right now there's a croc in the water it's a pretty small one but just waiting on the light to come out a bit more yeah she surfaced So we got lucky on both occasions that we saw quite a few crocs to be honest and uh, one of them was ridiculously large like we're talking like this big. <laughs> Whoa, that is a machine. This, this crocodile was huge and then it was even more uh, exciting when he decided that he was gonna he was gonna stalk the birds so he was stalking the storks there was like a few storks on the shore the storks were onto him and he, he he didn't get lucky but it was just cool to see such a huge creature uh, just gracefully gliding through the water going about its daily business uh, within the last, I don't know, maybe 200 meters, two, 300 meters, we've seen four crocs. The cool thing about it is it's like, just like, like right there. Like, the croc is right there. I love how pretty the skin is. Wow. Then the crocodile is a big one. That is the crocodile. Yeah, that is the big one right there. Yo, so. UV. You come, do you come here often? Yeah, I come here often. I'm retired. Just relax. Just relax. Oh. <laughs> you are retired and we are tired. <laughs> <laughs> Like get the f out of here holy shit it was just really good to be away from the city from cars you know uh it just felt so far removed and transported into uh this amazing natural paradise where you you could just you could just be at peace and then enjoy nature that that for me was amazing you know that's been a really good deal when you have to use your phone to film. Like I ran through two batteries, I think. You be still strong so the battery life. Yeah. And yes, I think that brings us to the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love to hear from you. What is your favorite natural landscape? Like, do you, you like beaches? You like mountains? You like deserts? Like, what's your favorite natural landscape? Drop it below in the comment section. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And if you are, hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I put a new video out there. And once more, guys, peace and love. Have a great day or night wherever you are in this beautiful world.